gentle bear. Yes, Grandmother? Would you like to help your grandfather up in the attic? The attic? Your grandmother wants me to get rid of some of that old junk up there. Old junk? Look at all these things. Yes, we gather a lot of stuff over the years. Look, a real rocking horse. Giddy up. <laughs> Whoa! Here, I'll help. <gasps> oh, it makes us look so funny. <laughs> What's over here? Interesting. Ah, my old top hat. Can't throw that out. <sighs> What's in this box? It's dark. What do you know? It's still in tune. <laughs> Almost. Whoa! <laughs> Little bear, are you all right? I think so. Let's open it. <gasps> Sorry, little bear. I didn't know it would all fall on you. What is all this? This is our old trunk from our days in the circus. You were in the circus? Oh, we had an interesting life, little bear. I was the great Grandini, the flying phenomenon. Was this your costume? Can I try it on? Of course. Yes, I was the star of the trapeze. What's a trapeze? I'll show you. I would stand on one platform. Ta-da! Ta-da! And down below, in the middle of it all, would be the ringmaster. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Allow me to direct your attention high above the center ring. He's the flying phenomenon, the trailblazer of the trapeze, the virtuoso of vertigo, the great Grandini Bear!
greatest trapezers in the world. The greatest trapezers in the universe. Oh, yes, well, you can get down now, little bear. We're supposed to be cleaning the attic, you know. Is this yours, Grandmother Bear? I gave that rose to her a long time ago. Yes, I'd forgotten all the wonderful things in this attic. So many memories. Grandfather, Grandmother, look at me. Uh, uh, yes, little bear. Uh, I see you found uh, my... Uh, uh, <gasps> old boxing gloves. <laughs> oh, my. I'm sorry, Grandfather. That's a powerful punch you've got there. It is? I'm easier to hit than I once was. After all, I'm not the bear I used to be. And you're not the bear you're going to be someday. Lucky for me. Can I have these boxing gloves then? <laughs> yes, when they fit you properly. Oh, thank you. And the circus costume? And the hat? And the rocking horse? Someday when you're bigger. Maybe we shouldn't throw anything out after all. Not quite yet. Not for a few more years, at least. Uh, 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 uh. Not for a long uh. time. <laughs> mm, this bush is loaded with huckleberries. You're not putting that twig there, are you? What's wrong with it? It should be over here. That's it, right there. A few more of these twigs and I'll be finished building our nest. I wish you would hurry. Our eggs will be hatching soon. My basket's empty, and yours is half full. Because you're eating the berries as fast as you pick them, little bear. <laughs> yes, but they're very good. Mmm, look, more huckleberries. I found an egg. Yes, you did. It's a beautiful egg, little bear. I wonder where it came from. We can't see any nests. What should we do? We can't just leave it here. I know. My basket can be a nest. A little moss. We'll make it nice and soft. But the egg needs its mother to sit on it and keep it warm. You're right. We have to find the bird who lost it. What are you doing, my little sweethearts? Are you nice and cozy? What? One, two, where is three? I found some very good twigs and- We've lost one of our eggs. I have to find it. You watch the nest and don't lose any more of our eggs. Hello, Hen. Hello, Hen. Hello, little bear. Hello, Emily. I found an egg. You did? Yes, but would you like to put it in your nest? Oh, I couldn't do that. What if it hatches? It will think I'm its mother. No, no, no. But we need someone to sit on the egg and keep it warm. If you found the egg, little bear, then it is yours. You should sit on it. But I don't know how to sit on eggs. It's easy. How do you do it? Okay, first back up to the basket. 
Then lower your yourself uh, down. Gently! Gently. Hi, little bear. What are you doing? I'm learning to sit on an egg. You laid an egg? No, I found one. Oh. We're looking for its mother. Duck, you're a bird. Would you like to sit on it? You found it. You should sit on it. Oh, what am I going to do? Lucy says we should ask Owl. He might know what we can do. Yes. Tell Lucy that is a very good idea. Whose egg is it? We don't know. We must find its mother so she can keep the egg warm. Hmm. Yes, well, it is a small egg and it is blue. Therefore, I suggest that the egg came from a small blue bird. Maybe. How can we find the small blue bird? That'll be very hard. Lucy says we should make a sign. Hmm. Lost E G G. Egg. Perhaps you should add that it's a blue egg. Yes, that is a good idea, Owl. B L U E. Blue. There. Lost egg blue. What if we don't find the mother? How long do I have to sit on the egg? Until it hatches, of course. How long will that be? Before lunch? No, it could be much longer than that. Oh. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It moved. Then we have to hurry and find its mother. Lost egg! Lost egg blue! Lost egg. Help! Lost Help! Egg. Help! Whoop. What's that all about? We found an egg. We're looking for its mother. Probably a small blue bird. Oh, that's terrible. She must be worried sick. Wait! I've lost an egg! That's my egg! You're not a small blue bird. I'm a robin. Robins lay small blue eggs. I knew that. Oh, good. Little Bear has been keeping it warm for you. A bear has been sitting on my egg? I was careful. Well, thank you. Now, how will I get it home? Our nest is way up in a tree. I'm a good climber. I'll climb up with the basket. Be careful, careful. Watch your step. What? Shoo, shoo, shoo! Scott! He found our egg for us. You've saved our precious little egg. And this is a very fine basket. You can keep it if you like. Thank you, little bear. You're welcome. Well, congratulations. But, but... Is it a boy or a girl? Oh... Bear, I was looking for you. You were? You looked like you were asleep. No, I was thinking. Oh, what were you thinking about? Hmm, that's a good question. Okay, bye. Where are you going, little bear? To see my friend, Emily. Why? Because. Your friend, Emily. 
That's what I was thinking about. Why? Because summer is nearly over, and I think she's going to miss us. Oh, I'm sure she will. We should have a party at my house. A party? What kind of party? Hmm. A because party. That is so nice. Why is Owl throwing a party for me? Because he wants to. It's a because party. I've never heard of that before. It's because you're a friend. Oh. Here are the party hats. What funny hats you have, Owl. Look at me. I look like him. I don't look anything like that. Yes, you do. My hat's too big. Do you want to trade hats, Duck? Yes, please. I can't see. Oh. I can't see. What? 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 Who will trade hats with Duck? I will. My hat's too small. Oh, that's better. Thank you. Lucy wants to tell me something. Lucy tells things to Emily. We know that, little bear. What is she saying? I can't hear anything. I thought I heard something. I think she wants a party hat. I don't have any more hats. Only Emily can hear Lucy talk. But Kat said she wanted a party hat. Lucy is saying... that she wants to sit up in the tree. See? Emily knows what Lucy wants. Thank goodness. Let's eat. First, Emily can tell us what she would like to eat. Because this is Emily's because party. Go ahead, Emily. Chocolate cookies. Round and very big and very soft in the middle. And the chocolate is all swirly on the outside. Mm. Mm. That was very good, Emily. Thank you. Ooh. I'm hungry. And what did you make us, little bear? Fish soup. A big pot of fish soup that is thick and creamy. Thank you, little bear. That was very good. Excuse me. Can Lucy fly? Of course Lucy can't fly. To fly, you need wings. And it also helps if you're a bird. Well, she's going to try. Oh, Lucy will break. <gasps> oh, Lucy. Her arm is broken. We need a doctor. Don't worry, Emily. We can fix her. Owl, do you have any tape? Yes, I've got some in the house. I'm sure Little Bear can fix Lucy. Here's the tape. Whoa! What? Oh. Yay! Yay! Thanks, Duck. Ooh. Don't worry, Emily. I'll be careful. What? Of course it hurts. How do you know it hurts? We should ask Lucy if it hurts. Is the tape too tight? Lucy is fine. Little Bear is doing very nicely. There. That looks much better. Ask her how she feels now. She says... She feels fine. Yay! <laughs> and she says you are a very good doctor, Little Bear. Tell her thank you. Anytime she breaks an arm or a leg, I will fix it. One arm is quite enough. No more today, please. Aren't you happy that Lucy's better? Yes. Thank you, Little Bear. You did a very good job. But I hope we didn't spoil the party. Of course not. That's why we have a because party. If you're sad, it cheers you up. Because we can all be together. You are right, Little Bear. 
Lucy and I are both better now. I don't have any more hats. Is Lucy saying something? Yes, she's saying something to Emily. I can hear it. She says she's not sad anymore. And she wants us to begin the party again. Can we eat now? Yes. Fixing arms has made me very hungry. Hello, little bear. Hello, everyone. Mother bear, father bear. <gasps> Hello, little bear. We're having a because party. A because party? Mm-hmm. Well, Mother Bear has made you lemonade and a delicious chocolate cake. Oh, yum. <sighs> it looks delicious. Oh, yes! I brought out extra plates, thinking we might have extra company. Very wise of you, Owl. You have thrown a fine party. Now, who's going to cut the cake? Well, I can cut the... Little Bear! Yes, yeah, Little yeah. Bear. Little Bear, yes! All right. We'll let Little Bear cut the cake. Thank you, Owl. I will give the biggest piece to you, but I will give the first piece to Emily. What does Lucy say, Emily? She says this is a very fine party indeed. Mmm, Mother Bear. How did you know we would love to have lemonade and chocolate cake? Because... Mother Bears just know these things. 